Bob Moog Foundation, and you are listening to Asheville FM at WSFM LP 103.3 Asheville. Coming up next is Radioactive Kids, which is brought to you by Izzy's Coffee Den. Located at 74 North Lexington Avenue downtown and at 976 Haywood Road in West Asheville, Izzy's Coffee Den serves a variety of coffee and specialty drinks, baked goods, snacks, beer, and wine. More info at 828-258-2004 or izzyscoffeeden.com. Feast teaches cooking and gardening education, envisioning a community where all kids can eat fruits and vegetables every day regardless of income level. The mission of Feast is to empower youth and families to grow, prepare, and enjoy fruits and vegetables. Feast in- offers classes on problem solving by increasing fresh and locally grown produce in everyday living, gaining confidence by exploring different ways to, p- to prepare fresh produce, creating and changing recipes while learning how a food affects your brain and body. For more information about Feast Asheville and how to get involved, visit www.feastashville.com. Listening to Asheville FM, and this is Radioactive Kids. Good morning, y'all. I ho- hope I w- woke y'all up on this this rather overcast Saturday morning, but I'm sure it'll turn out to be a beautiful day anyway. Um, I have an awesome show for you today. After two weeks of hashtag Kindy Retro, we're back to the regular music mix. We have tons of new and new to the show music. Like, way too, too much. It's, I'm going to keep playing the stuff that, that, that piled up like over the next three weeks. It's going to be so much fun. Anyway, so um, we, we have new music by Parental Petulance, Father Goose, Mr. Cookie Jar, uh, Human Tim, and Robot Tim. Lots more. So stay, stay tuned. And also, if everything w- w- works out uh, correctly, we will be interviewing Steve Elsie at 9.30, who has... A new uh, album called Jump in the Puddles. Let's get it started, however, with a brand new album by a a group that I've been playing for uh, a little while. And this is actually their first album, but uh, uh, they've been releasing some some stuff over the past couple of years. They are called The Green Orbs, and they are great. Their album, which is going to be out in September, is called Thumb Wrestling Championship. Or, excuse me, the Thumb Wrestling Champions. And let's play some songs from it now. This first song we're going to play is called Outside. Hope you enjoy it on Radioactive Kiss. Stay tuned. we got a lot of good stuff coming up. I love to go outside. It's always a new adventure. Yeah. 
This is Heather. And this is Eddie. And we are... The Green Orbs. And you're listening to... (laughs) Radioactive Kids on Asheville FM. So you won't miss Step three Hold your nose What you can't smell You cannot taste Step four Hum your favorite tune And your veggies will vanish without a trace Step five Say hello to your veggies I look forward to working with you It's green doesn't make it mean Step eight Just pretend you're a rabbit They, they love, love their green cuisine Use this information To cure your frustration Make eating vegetation One big celebration Just use our solution Honey, you sound like you've seen a ghost. No, Mom. Ghosts aren't real. You need to help. I hear a monster walking outside my window. He's just waiting for me to fall asleep so he can come in here and get me. Honey, that's not a monster. That's just the raindrops hitting the sidewalk. 
But even if it was a monster, it couldn't get in. Remember, we use monster spray in our house, so none of those pesky monsters will ever come in and bother us. But how do you know monster spray actually works, Mom? Because it has the Blue Ribbon Seal of Approval from the Monster Prevention Society. So you can trust that monster spray will keep us safe. Plus, it makes the house smell great. You're right, Mom. Our house does smell great. Monster spray, monster spray, helps to keep those creatures away. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Thumb Wrestling Championship. Thumb Wrestling Champion, you're the Thumb Wrestling Champion. You've got the thumbs that are faster and stronger than any other thumbs around. Round one, a ninja versus a wizard. The ninja's thumb was blurry because it moved so fast. So fast. But then the wizard summoned a blizzard. The ninja's thumb froze and the wizard was the winner at last. That made my thumbs cold. Thumb wrestling champion. You're the thumb wrestling champion. You've got the thumbs that are faster and stronger than any other thumbs Round two, around. ladies and gentlemen. Round two, a teddy bear versus a pirate. The pirate had one eye and a thumb made of wood. But teddy was relaxed and ready. Push and the wood in them was pretty for good. Teddy Bear advances to the next round. Pushing the digits to the limits. Pushing the digits to the limits. It's the game for kings and queens. The greatest game has ever been. Even if the thumbs are so A mummy versus a pickle. It's a pickle. The mummy thought he had it because pickles can't move. But the mummy's thumb was dry and crummy. His thumb turned to dust and the pickle breaking in groove. That pickle stands out like a sore thumb. Thumb wrestling champion. You're the thumb wrestling champion. You've got the thumbs that are faster and stronger than any other thumbs around. Hold on to your thumbs, everyone. Round four, a space slug versus is a sous chef. The slug's thumb was covered with a bunch of green slime, but the sous chef didn't feel stressed. She, has a she dipped her thumb in salt, and the slug's thumb was down in no time. I can't believe it! Against the thumb so fast, the Lincoln's win. always thinking. He started to speak of great events from the past. Lincoln gave a speech. What's he doing? Four score and seven thumbs ago. And Sasquatch Our had a speech. Our forearms brought forth upon this great continent a war of thumbs. What a great way to start the show. That was uh, actually f- f- four tracks from 
Uh, the Green Orb's new album is going to be out soon. Uh, it's called Thumb Wrestling Champions. That, of course, was the title track, of course. I love that song. Um, and b- b- before that, we hear a little commercial, Monster Spray, part two. There are actually three commercials from Monster Spray on that album. Like fake commercials, of course. Before that, we heard 12 Steps to Eating Your Veggies. And I, I normally d- don't really like, you know, advice songs that much. But that one, I think... I can handle it. It's it's, it's got some good some good stuff in there. We started the set off and the show off with "Outside" by the Green Orbs. Good stuff. Um, so let's switch directions completely now on Radioactive Kids and listen to something by a uh, a band that is not new but but new to the show. The band's called. Play Sounds, they released an album way back in 2009 that's electronic music for children, and it's really goofy and crazy and fun. The first song I'm going to play is called Alphabot. Hope you enjoy it. Alphabot. Stop. 
stuff I found Just lying around At the graveyard And the morgue downtown Some say that I must be mad But that just makes me laugh. Some say that I must be mad But that just makes me laugh <laughs> I love that song by Play Sounds from their album from 2009. This is self-titled. That was called Mashed Potato Volcano. Before that, we heard Mad 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 Scientist and started this set off with Alphabot. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, you can check out Radioactive Kids on Facebook and Instagram, and also be sure to check out the podcast pretty much anywhere you get podcasts if you're so interested. All right. Uh, coming up next, we have a new album by a guy named Uncle Devin from Washington, D.C. The album's called Be Yourself. And this first song we're going to play is called Put Your Hands Up on Radioactive Kids. I am Sagan. This is Asheville FM. Do you hate or you got it free? I'm just the one from Washington, D.C. So put 
in elementary school, some friends and I learned how to play the hand bone. The hand bone is an African drum technique that uses the entire body as a drum set to produce different sounds. And now I'm going to teach you. Are you ready? Let's go. First you take your hand that you use to say hi. Bring it down low and hit up on your thigh. People might look at you funny and ask why. What's that called? I'm doing the hand bone. Let's go. Come on. Thigh up. Thigh up. Thigh up. You're sounding real good. And once you have done this, don't you give your hand rest. Because after you hit your thigh, hit one time on your chest. Do it real fast and you can confess real loud that I'm doing the hand bone. Let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, thigh chest, thigh chest, you're sounding real good. Once you done these two, then just follow my command. Hit the top of your thigh with the back of your hand. You do all three patterns like a rotating fan. What's that called? I'm doing the hand bone. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, you're sounding good. The last step you take, and please don't you be shy. Do all three parts, then slap the side of your thigh. Once you have done them, then say, oh my, what's that called? I'm doing the hand bone. Let's go. One, two, three, slap. 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 Yeah. We're doing a hand bone. We're doing a hand bone. Yeah, we're doing a hand bone. We're doing a hand bone. Let's go, double time, hand bone roll.
Have some fun, handbone, or with everyone, handbone. You wanna do it with me, handbone, and you can do it for free, handbone. Nobody is fussing, handbone, or with body percussion, handbone. You gotta be yourself. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was I'm doing the handbone by Uncle Devin from his new album Be Yourself. Before that, we heard Be Yourself Interlude One and Put Your Hands Up. Hope you enjoyed that. This is Radioactive Kids. And remember, you can make a request for an upcoming show by giving me a call, 828-259-3936. Or you can email me, sagan at ashevillefm.org. That's S-A-G-A-N. All right. Coming up next, we have some music from Argentina by a group who just sent me their stuff. Um, They are called Patinetas and Banda. And their uh, album is called Universo Patinetas. It was released in 2016. So let's play some songs from it right now. It is in Spanish, so I hope you enjoy it. This first song is called Gotas. Atrapé una gota de lluvia. Y yo otra. Y otra. Gotas que caen de arriba, gotas que caen sin mirar, gotas que caen del cielo y de pronto caen sin parar, y de pronto caen sin parar. Cuando cae la gota me calzo la gota si salgo a pasear, cuando me calzo las botas me pongo el piloto y empiezo a bailar. Cuando me pongo el piloto, agarro el paraguas y empiezo a cantar. Gotas, go, 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 gotas, gotas, go, 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 gotas, gotas, go, 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 gotas, gotas, go, 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 gotas. lluvia que agua me da esta canción le canto a la lluvia que agua me da agua dulce agua sala agua rica que viene y que va agua dulce agua sala agua rica que viene y que va cuando me pongo el piloto agarro el paraguas a cantar gotas go, 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 gotas gotas go, 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 gotas cuidado qué pasó que casi que casi que lo pisan a quién al bicho bolita perdón pequeño ser Perdido por la ciudad, moviendo todas las 
ruta sale de noche a investigar Buscando entre las plantas algún amigo para jugar Hacerse una pelotita y tirarse juntos por un tobogán Por ahí Por ahí Lo pueden encontrar, durmiendo puede estar dentro de tu bolsillo. Cuentan que el bicho bolita luego de un tiempo pudo regresar con muchas aventuras a sus amigos poder contar. Y así termina la historia de este bichito en la ciudad. Y así termina la historia de este bichito en la ciudad. Y si llega a volver, lo pueden encontrar. Durmiendo puede estar dentro de algún bolsillo. ¿Del mío? Del tuyo. ¿Vieron que el ñandú tiene plumas? El ñandú tiene pico. El ñandú tiene patas largas. El ñandú habla. El ñandú no, no habla. ¿A que sí? ¿A que no? ¿A que sí? ¿A que no? ¿A que sí? Argentina. That is Patinetas and Banda 
which is a, a really great all-female group from uh, Argentina. Ar- Argentina has a really great kindy scene. I've been I've been f- finding really good music from that area of the world f- for the past few months, and I'm looking forward to hearing more and more of it. That was from their album Verso Patinetas. We heard Nyamdu, wait, Nyamdu, excuse me, Vito Bolita and Gosas, or Gotas. I apologize for my, my terrible Spanish pronunciation. Anyway, um, this is Radioactive Kids. Hope you enjoy that. Coming up next, it, let's play some comedy from Australia for kids by a comedy duo called The Listies. They just released their third comedy album for kids. It's called Lullaby. It's a kids' comedy album about bedtime. And pretty much all you need to know is there are these two guys named Matt and Rich, and they live t- t- together. They might be brothers. Um, And they're really goofy. Okay. Hope you enjoy this. This uh, first track we're going to play, we're, we're going to play a f- few tracks from it. It's called Pillow Fort. Here we go. This is Radioactive Kids on Asheville FM. And this, Matt, is my pillow fort. Oh, wow, Rich. <laughs> Mucho impresiano. Yeah, it's just some pillows uh, from the couch, mm. a couple of throws, and a blanket for the roof. Cool. I thought we could have a tea party. Come on in. Classic. <laughs> Look, here we are. Look, Teddy's here already. Hey, Mr. Ted. Now, you stay here, and I'll go and grab the tea and biscuits back from the kitchen, okay? Huh? There's no kitchen in your pillow fort. Are you crazy? Kitchen in a pillow fort? Who has a kitchen in a pillow fort? Uh, I do. I think I've got some biscuits, too. Come on, we'll grab them, and we'll come back here and party at your forte. Wow, it's pretty impressive from the outside. Oh, wait till you see it on the inside. Just uh, wipe your feet, please. The cleaners have just been in. Okay. Here we are. Be careful, because it's a bit of a work in progress. Matt, this is incredible. How did you do all this? Well, it's the same as you. Pillow here, blanket there. The trick is, is that you use a broom handle to hold up the roof. Wow. Now, follow me. The biscuits are just down here, I think. This is incredible. Where's that music coming from? Uh, that's the mariachi band. They're here for the vibes. Hi, guys. Hola. Would you like a table, sir? Uh, no, thanks, Mario. We're going to eat at Richard's next door. Very good, sir. Who's that? That's Mario. He's the maitre d' of my um, pillow fort. Matt, this is absolutely unbelievable. Thanks. Uh, now, the pantry's down here somewhere, but... Uh... Look, we're a little pressed for time. Let's just jump on the segways. Segways? Yeah. It's the transport of the future. Here you go. Okay. Whoa. Whoop. Oh, I see. Now you're getting it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Matt, I'm lost for words. I can't believe all of this is in the lounge room. Yeah. What's that? It's laser tag. And that? That's the opera house. And that? The science lab. A science lab? Hey, look, there's science, Tammy. Tam! My passion is flow. <laughs> She's great. What's that thing? Ah, that's the eight million story treehouse. Wow, can we go in there? Not really. How come? Copyright reasons. Uh, You want to go to the petting zoo? Petting zoo? Yeah, we could pat the white rhino. White rhino? Does your pillow fort not have a white rhino? You can have one, I've got two. Thanks. And here we are at the biscuit factory. Factory? Yep, next to the roller coaster. Whoa! By the harbour. What an amazing view! So we'll just pop in, grab the biggies and scoot back to yours. Yeah, I suppose so. The tea will be getting cold. Or maybe we should just get an Uber. It'll be quicker. Um, tea, Teddy? Biscuit, Matt? Thanks, Rich. Thanks for coming back to my uh, pillow fort. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Look, um, do you want to just go back to your pillow fort? Well, if you want... There's fireworks in half an hour. Yeah, let's just, yeah, do, let's that. just do that. All right, okay. let's just go to yours. <laughs> okay, I'll just call ahead. Uh, Mario, two for dinner. Matt, three. Teddy's coming. Oh, okay. Three for dinner, thanks, Mario. But Teddy's a vegan. Rich, I don't want to go to sleep. I'm afraid of the dark. Well, Matt, that's exactly why I got you this. It's a night light with three different settings. So switch off the big light. No. No, no, you switch off the big light and turn this one on. No, it's too dark, it's too dark. No, stay with me. Ready? Is that better? Brighter. How's that? Brighter. Ah, it's too bright, it's too 
Blue Prime. Okay, all right. How about that? <sighs> okay. Good night, Matt. Good night. Well, you have to leave the door open. Okay. And can you turn the fan on? Okay, I'll turn on the fan. Not too fast. Okay. And I need a glass of water. It's already there. A special blanket. It's on the bed. And Teddy Kins. He's right there. Okay. Okay. Ready for sleep. Okay. Good night. Good night. Rich? Hey, Rich? Rich? Yes, Matthew? Uh, you forgot to check under my bed for monsters. <sighs> okay. There's no monsters under here. What about behind the door? No, nope, none there. Sometimes they're in the cupboard. Check in the cupboard. No monsters. Just a mariachi band. Good night, fellas. But no monsters. Okay, good night. Okay. Good night. Rich! Rich! Yeah, what? I think I forgot to say good night. No, you didn't. We already said good night. Oh, I just wanted to make sure that I said it because I didn't want to be rude. Okay, no worries. Okay, well, good night. Good night. Okay. Oh, Rich! Yes, Matt! What is it this time? Uh, there's like this rumbling noise. Can you hear it? It's it's rumbling like a... noise. Listen. Come closer. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh, Matt, that's disgusting! <laughs> oh, it smells like someone's defrosting meat in a microwave. Oh, that is right. Oh, it smells like a portaloo at a building site. <laughs> wow, wow, I've had ham again. Oh, <laughs> haven't I? Yeah. Oh, I can't sleep in here with that, Rich. I'm not surprised. Can I come and crash in your room? Oh, that's not fair. You can't fart in your own room and then come into my room. Oh, well, I can't sleep in here. Okay, okay. If you come in my room, you have to go to sleep, though, okay? You can't keep me awake. Yep. Bags the top bunk. Okay. Okay. Ah, well. Uh, I'm still wide awake. Uh, well, should we listen to a podcast or something? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I put one on. Oh, here's a good one. And now, 67 minutes of screaming. Ah! Oh. Ah! Absolutely not, Matt. Oh, I was almost asleep then. Put another one on. Okay, this one. Hello, and welcome to How to Be Annoying. This week, clicking sounds with your tongue. Oh. What? Oh, this is so annoying. Shh, I'm learning. Oh, Matt, I can't listen to this. Coming up next, pen clicking. Oh, oh, oh I have to get a pen. Matt, this is driving me nuts. This is good. I can't listen to this. It's waking me up. In combination. No, no, this is far too annoying, Matt. We're definitely not listening to this. Come on, I'm putting on another one. Good day and welcome to This Australian Life. Nah. This week on Cereal, I'll be eating wheat bags. <laughs> I don't want to listen to someone eating for half an hour. What else you got? Hello, and welcome to Words That Don't Exist. Splonk doink. Scrank. Binkatonk. Blissle. Lamb crowd. Fout. Rugitoy. toy. Jingle splank. Slanky dinky. Blanket. Bonka chuka. Frap. Time monitor. Dong dong. Diggly dang. Incarnabula. Correspond ranks. Ah, oh, not listening to this codswallop. Ah, oh, stinkle dank. Oh, I know. I've got the perfect one. Hello and welcome to Slightly Interesting Things. I'm Belvin Mag. Oh, shh. This week we're talking about crumbs. Where do they come from? Why are they always in your bed? And most of all, who invented them? <sighs> to answer these questions about crumbs, we're joined by Mary My Teeth Are Big, Professor of Cheese and Biscuits at La Dar College, London. Hello. Bartholomew Nodoff, Lecturer in Midnight Snack Theory at Poshton College, Oxford. I'm sitting in a chair. And Simon Dustybeard, Fellow in Sleep Studies, Boring Thought College in Bedfordshire. <sighs> Wake up, Simon. Sorry. Ugh, this is boring. That's the idea, Matt. It sends you off to sleep. It's nice and boring. Yeah, but isn't it dangerous to be bored? What? Why? What, haven't you ever heard the phrase, die of boredom? No, Matt, that's just a saying. A saying? Yeah, it's not literally true. You don't actually die of boredom. It's just like a thing people say, like, it's the thought that counts. What about that movie? What movie? This one. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to school. Hello, welcome to Show and Tell. I have a collection of pen lids. Is she okay? Oh no! A completely true story based on actual events, sort of. Students, today we're going to learn the history of the coaster. Then we have handwriting practice oh, no. and PE for three hours. <laughs> well, what happened? I don't know. He was okay and then he just fell flat onto the classroom floor. It's almost like he was bored to death. 
Just when you thought the tedium couldn't get any more tedious. Today, we're going to talk about explosions. Yay! The explosions of joy I have when I explain long division. Die of boredom. Coming soon to a school near you. Rate it D for dull. Well, I'm not watching that. Well, that looks too scary. But it's an important film, Rich. One that people need to see. Oh, yeah. That would be an interesting movie to see, I'm sure. <laughs> that was The Listies, kids comedy from Australia, and a song called Die, or, or, or a track called Die of Boredom from the new album Lullaby. Before that, we heard uh, a great little uh, skit making fun of podcasts, <laughs> 67 Minutes of Screaming. We also heard Matt's Room and Pillow Fort. Hope you enjoy that. And coming up next, let's get back into the music on Radioactive Kids. This is some music by Human Tim and Robot Tim. They're a, 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 a candy group that's been around for a while, and they just broke up like last month um and and they're no longer from performing but they released some old rare demo songs plus a new song uh on their soundcloud page that uh they that no one had ever heard before so um this first song i'm gonna play by them is called curious planet heavy demo hope you enjoy it Starting to worry 
bring the bricks A nice pretty house we'll build and fix We jump inside when the cold wind blows We kiss our little baby oh Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer Single, zangle, gun with my saw and blocks when the snowbird flies and the honeybee comes we'll feed our baby on the honey in the cold Hi, this is Eric Maddox, and I'm here with the West Asheville Play School, and you're listening to Asheville FM at WSFMLP 103.3 Asheville.
What a great song by Human Tim and Robot Tim, their swan song, Hey Dinosaur. Before that, we heard a cover of a Woody Guthrie song, Bling Bling Demo, and we started this off with Curious Planet Heavy Demo. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that. This is Radioactive Kids. We're now entering the second hour, and programming support is brought to you by Echo Mountain Recording Studios. Located in Asheville, Echo Mountain Recording Studios offers analog analog and digital recording services featuring vintage microphones, outboard gear, and instruments, as well as modern equipment. For more info, echomountain.net or 828-232-4314. Urban Dharma is a Buddhist community center and sacred sanctuary in the heart of downtown Asheville. Open to the public six days a week with a meditation and educational space, Urban Dharma freely offers both Buddhist and secular programs to the community. Meditation and wellness classes for all ages are ongoing and Buddhist-based addiction recovery meetings meet twice a week. Visit Urban Dharma's new location at 77 Walnut Street. For more information, free e-resources, and podcast of teachings, visit Udharma nc.com or call 828-225-6422 all right let's get back into the music Uh, coming up in like 30 minutes we'll be interviewing uh steve elsie but first we have some more music to get to um one thing we don't play uh, much of on this show is accordion music well let's play some now this is by an artist named jane christensen aka janie next door her album is called come sing along with janie next door and this song is called riding my bicycle
I love playing a accordion by Janie Next Door from her album Come Sing Along with Janie Next Door. Hmm, what to follow that song with? How about Some Heavy Metal by Parental Petulance? They have a new album, and it's also self-titled. Their first album was self-titled, and their second album is also self-titled. And the, this song we're going to play is called Creepin' While You're Sleepin'. It, it's a song about a kid creeping around in the house in the middle of the night while his p- parents are sleeping. I hope you enjoy it. I'm not sleepy, guys. I said, I'm not sleepy, guys. I'm not sleepy, guys. Yeah. <laughs>
us tired too, and we just want to take a nap, but, but you want to run around and yell and scream and have fun, and, and that's okay, because these kids should have fun, and they should run around and scream, but, but it's been a long day, and I'm tired, and I want to take a nap, and Mama wants to take a nap too, but you won't let us. Oh boy, that was a little song for the parents called No Respect for Sleep by Parental Petulance. Before that, we heard Sneaky Snake and Creepin' While You're Sleeping. All right, coming up in just a few minutes, we'll be interviewing Steve Elsie and friends. So here is Teddy Bear from his newest album, Jump in the Puddles. <laughs> You're supersonic, oh, it's so ironic. You grow so fast like a sunflower. You're dynamite, oh, you're out of sight. A kaleidoscope of wonder. Baby 
the talk Oh, your groovy walk You're a real cool cat You're off the charts Oh, it looks and smarts The world is your oyster Imagine that Into the starry night Collect sea glass and seashells Into the pale moonlight Dance, dance, dance In the sugar sand Alright These are the nights that I wish Would never end Park under the shaded trees Smell the flowers blooming in the warm summer breeze Spin, 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 spin In the fresh cut grass We're all right These are the days that go by way, way, way too fast
Everybody, hola. Everybody, hola. Everybody, hola. Hola. It means hello. Everybody, jumbo. Jumbo. Everybody, jumbo. Everybody, jumbo. Jumbo. It means hello. I always greet you with a smile. Baby, we could be friends for a while. Everybody, bonjour. Everybody, bonjour. Bonjour. It means hello. Everybody, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Everybody, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. It means hello. I always greet you with a smile. That is uh, Steve Elsie from his brand new album, Jump in the Puddles. We heard Hello Song and Hello to Steve Elsie himself. He is on the air with me right now. Welcome. Hey, well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on, on your show. And, uh, and uh, hello to all your listeners. Awesome. So uh, we have been playing this album on Radioactive Kids and thoroughly enjoying it. So... Uh, uh, this is your your fourth uh, kids album, is that right? It is. It's our fourth album, um, and uh, yeah, it took a little bit longer to make after our third one. After so I could talk to you a little bit about why that one, but but yeah, this is our fourth album. We're very excited about it. It's, um, you know, we feel it's a it's a song very representative of us as uh, as people mm-hmm. uh, as artists. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, so so what's the story behind this album? How did it g- 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 get made? Sure, well, this album uh, has been in the making for about uh, just about two years, and wow. uh, oh, oh yeah, and it's it's gone through a few, uh, some changes. Um, you know, after the last album, Imagination Nation, which did very well, on lots of uh, local channels, and it, and it got some good reviews. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this, but this, we wanted to take to the next level. We, we felt we were ready to really, to really uh, yeah, come on the scene, if you will. We had the, we felt we had the songs. We felt we had, uh, we had the musicians for sure. Um, and we just, we were just ready to do it. So we took our time with it um, in the beginning, making sure that it was exactly what we wanted. Um, and then a little bit of tragedy hit my family, where uh, wow. where my mother came down with uh, cancer and ended up passing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that kind of slowed down production a little bit um, at, at, towards the end, where we where we could have maybe gotten it out a year earlier or whatever. But we had to do, we had to do what we had to do there. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, 
But uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so that came, that came that came through, and, and once that passed, we were able to finish up the the recording. As a matter of fact, right after that, we uh, I, I went in with a, f- a few new songs that uh, that w- I really got energized. I really felt I I I, I uh, dedicated it to my mom, and I really wanted it to be the best I could. So brought some more songs to the table, and really the end result is jump to the puddles. Yeah, yeah, and the album is dedicated to to, to your mother, and and it, and. I saw in the press release that you that you said you know th- this is what she would want me to to do just keep m- making aw- awesome music for k- kids because you know because sh- because that was that's what m- makes you happy what made her her happy. That's right. You know, my family is uh, is uh, my dad was a musician, and all my life my my parents have sort of through music in my life. Yeah, and. Uh, and so this is exactly what she would want to really take it to 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 all limits as best we can do, and that's what I did. Awesome. Well, yeah, you can definitely he- hear it in the album. Um, I wanted to ask, what are some of the new songs you brought to the table uh, uh, in the second part of the al- album's rec- recording process? Yeah, I I uh, uh, three chord song um, and trampoline. Really, the last two. Oh. Um, uh, three chord song was a song I, you know, it, it was almost, it's almost like one of those songs that we play at sound check yeah. that I just wanted to make, I had things working, but one day at sound check, I just sort of had it going and I had I put some lyrics to it and, and our bass player, Bert, was like, that's a hit. We got to record that. <laughs> and so you know, literally went in and did that. Uh, and, 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 and that came out fantastic. And Casey and Michelle added some, some real cool overdubs over it to really bring it to life, uh, for kids. Yeah. So that one came on with, and then trampoline, which I have had in my repertoire for really since 2012. It's been floating around, and I never really got to finishing it. You know, it was it's sort of this uh, song that's about a trampoline, kids having fun on a trampoline, but it's very musical yeah. and it has a, an adult feeling music to it. So I was always skeptical where to put it. Yeah. I felt, but I felt here it was it was it was the perfect timing because. You know, we start out the album jumping in puddles, and we end we're jumping on trampoline. So it yeah. felt right to me. That makes sense. Yeah, and l- l- listeners, we haven't played trampoline yet, but we're playing it right after the interview, so you'll know what he's n- talking about. Um, and uh, w- one of my f- favorite songs on the album, I think my f- favorite song uh, f- from from the album is "Shine On" because it's really just so uh, uh, ev- evocative and and and. Uh, and philosophical and, and beautiful. Could you talk Thank about you. how you wrote that one? Yeah, Shine On was really the center, the keystone of this entire uh, body of work. It, I really had that one first, and that uh-huh. was, <clears throat> believe it or not, even before. And it really just represented a child's look at my look mm-hmm. at, uh, at, at summers and just uh, carefree and being a kid. Yeah. Um, and I live here at uh, the coast of Connecticut, and, you know, you know this here, uh, I, I lived on and played on all my life, and, and some of our parks here, mm-hmm. all the same thing. So, so, um, so anyway, so I used that inspiration to, uh, to create, uh, this, you know, uh, that song, and, and that really was where I went with it. I took that and, you know, took more, some of the other fun things, and of course, jumping in puddles is one. And uh, and that was and that was where it came through. And that's and that's, that's the bat song. Really, is simply just my my little childhood. Yeah, yeah, and and, and it's r- r- really I think a universal theme. Like everyone has those few m- moments that they look back and, and remember. Man, that was awesome. You know. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad. I'm really glad you like it. It's it, um, it to me. It's it is also my favorite on the CD as well. Awesome. Um, I I just feel it. I hit I hit all the points I wanted to, and I had the melodies uh, to go along with it, and sort of the music to back it up. So, um, at, you know, when you have those components that come into play, you're like, whoa, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. When it when it works, it works r- really well. I guess. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Awesome. So, um, uh, I wanted to ask you also uh, about something. Um, I've seen this album 
compared uh, by a couple reviewers to uh, uh, Brady Reimer's uh, work. And and I can definitely see the resemblance, but what do you, do you think of that comparison? What do you think you have in common with him, or, or what do you th- think of it in general? Yeah, well, uh, Brady is one of my heroes. Uh, Brady, is, so to be compared to Brady Reimer is is uh, you know an honor to me. I, I you know I've been following his works for a long time. He's a, a very established musician on yeah. all levels. Um, you know, so and we're friends. We've played together many times. Oh, awesome! Um, so on many some different festivals here in Connecticut and beyond. So it, uh, you know. Um, I'm no stranger to knowing him, and uh, and the fact that they com- compared this album to a little about a little of his is is real nice. I mean, listen, he's a musician. He's a uh, he's a you know a bandmate. He's a he's got all the same components that I do oh. uh, when I approach when I approach music. You know, he, his stage presence, like his musicianship, his his song quality. You know, these are things that. Uh, uh, you know that uh, you know I admire in him, and, and these are things that I admire uh, in other artists, and that's what I strive to do when I write songs. Mm-hmm. But he's, you know, to, to be compared to him is just fantastic. He's wonderful. I mean, you know, I, uh, it's just, uh, it's just that's just nice. Awesome. So, so this begs the question: When can we expect a collaboration between you two? <laughs> well, I, uh, you know, sooner than 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 uh, than uh, you think. Actually, it's it's. There's some things that I have in the works that uh, I think might 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 work well with him as uh, as being part of it. That I think uh, that sooner. Let's just put it there. <laughs> uh uh-huh, Yeah. So 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 you you never know what will happen in the future. I'm I'm looking forward to it. So uh, we have a couple minutes left. So I wanted to also ask you about some, something that related to the first point you made. Like everybody. It, in the band pouring their all into this this uh, uh, album, and the 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 standard musicianship on this album seems really impeccable to me. Like everything is 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 really well well played. So was was it was it hard for you guys to to get that that perfect feeling, or did it just kind of happen? Um, well, I, I'm lucky enough on two levels. I the people that are in my band and sort of I associate with here in Connecticut, they're just fantastic musicians. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, they are just, they're awesome. They, uh, you know, this album, Jay Franklin played piano and he is just magnificent. And he took my ideas to the next level. And, uh, you know, Todd Fake on guitar, like in Bumblebee, if you listen to some of the, the guitar work, it's just amazing. The, the players that I happen to have are just, are, are simply what I believe is the best in the area. Mm-hmm. Um, and all of them are on the same mission uh, and on the same page as me. It's just, you know, if we're going to do this, yeah. let's just do it to the best that we can do it. Um, and that's the beautiful thing. So so they are, yeah, they are extremely high level. They are committed and dedicated. And, and you know, it, I'm lucky enough where if there's something that we need, a banjo, an accordion, or what have you, if there's an instrument, if I just put it out there, the players in southeastern Connecticut are just amazing. And, uh, you know, someone steps up to the plate, and, it's just, and it just blows my mind when they lay down a track. Yeah. We're just, there's some really great music here in southeastern Connecticut. And, yeah. uh, and this album is a, is a slice that represents, you know, uh, that represents uh, South, in New London in particular. Um, but, boy, it is awesome. Yeah, it yeah. is awesome. They play, they play great, and, and I, you know, that's just one of the things that... Uh, the magic that happened on this album was just everybody, you know, sort of brought their A game. Awesome. And, you know, and not to mention the producer, Dave Tuzia. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we can have the greatest players in the world play their parts, but if, the, if, if, uh, if it doesn't sound good, you know, that's a whole other issue. He's yeah. just like our George. Dave Tuzia is like the George Martin of the Steve Elsie and Friends band. <laughs> the like, he, he literally is. I mean, this, this, this guy works endlessly to make sure that, uh, that these songs sound what we hear in our heads. So he he takes that extra time to to dial everything in. I really you know kudos to him. He's just that you know he's a major part. Awesome. So uh, we are already out of time. So thank you so, so much for calling us up. It's, a, it's been a blast chatting with you. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. So, well. Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. So, uh, so thank you so much. We will keep on playing your music. 
Thank you so much again. Thanks for having me on your show. And, and, and hello to all your listeners. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in some city somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. All right. I jump on my trampoline, hands to the sky. The ground falls away at the blink of an eye. The birds in the trees all whistle their tune as I spin like a wheel all afternoon on my trampoline. Trampoline. Day on the moon, it feels like to me the tricks that I do defy gravity. My circus routine. Everyone, a day on the moon is so much fun at my trampoline. Trampoline, trampoline boy, trampoline girl, jumping for joy. Martha Stewart in the kitchen, we chillin'. Just chillin' like bird. Just chillin'. We just chillin'. Just chillin' like bird. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Feelin' like a million tip chewin' in the backyard. Catching bugs in the glass jar. Get in a good old game of croquet. Going. Yeah, you know it, okay? Okay, okie dokie, brothers. You and I go together like Jiffy and Snuggers. Watch the sunset, try to count the colors. Climb trees till it's time for supper, boy. The weather be fine as a frog hair, so I'm just soaking up the sun in my lawn chair. Fresh squeeze lemonade. Good times, good toots, good friends, you know. Good vibes. 
Yeah, you know it's on. Fun times each time we play ping pong. Donkey Kong inside, handball out the garage. I beat the champion now, please hold your applause. You can smell the barbecue from down the street. And we jumping in the sprinklers to beat the heat. Win or lose, I'm playing horseshoes with cookie. Then turning up the music for the backyard boogie. We boogie on down, boogie, boogie down, down. Uncle Doc's cookie jar, sweet sounds, pound for pound. Keep their heads bouncing, fist pounds all around. Let your limbs go loose, get your sweater unwound. Oh, yes, I'm froze like a bag of vegetables. Then I'm a positive vibes, kinda like I'm at a festival. It's time to go fly as a kite. See, I'm having the time of my life now. Plan on heading home. Chilling with my fans <laughs> in the backyard. Yeah. Just chilling, we chilling, we chilling, we chilling, we chilling. Chilling with my fans in the backyard where the perfect vibe is. Chilling with my fans in the backyard. Just chilling, we chilling, we chilling, we chilling, we chilling. Chilling with my fans in the backyard where the perfect vibe is. I want to chill. With my best friends, I want to chill. With my best friends, I want to chill. With my best friends, making memories, making, making memories. Just chilling like birds. Chilling with my friends in the backyard. Just chilling, 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 chilling. Just chilling like girl. Chilling with my friends in the backyard. Just chilling, 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 chilling. <laughs> Chillin' by by Mr. Cookie Jar featuring Uncle Docs. We are almost out of time on the Radioactive Kids show for today. Stay tuned for something else with Ernesto. And let's finish off with a song um, by uh, uh, the Deal Deedle Dees called We Are All Mothers. And then some songs by Father Goose f- f- featuring Mr. Cookie Jar also and Danny I from his new album King of the Dance Party. We'll hear... High hopes, jump up and bounce. All right. I hope you enjoyed the show, and thank you so much to uh, Steve Elsie for calling us up. We are all mothers. We are part of one another. We are all the women who've kept us alive. I am every teacher, every friend I've told the secret. Close your eyes now, can you see it? The one who changed your mind. Oh, I've been far too long silent. To sing a song for our mothers, our grand and great grandmothers, our step in law and others, everyone who kept you alive. Oh, I spent far too long silent. Oh, I spent too much time crying, but now I'm coming out to sing.
me, I say you know the deal. Practice and practice makes perfect napkins and napkins for sure. It gets so messy when you're trying to be the Mr. Rubber Tree Lifter. Miss Lifter, you the woo man. When they say can't, you say I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can.
It's 10 a.m. in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and you are listening to Asheville FM at WSFMLP 103.3 Asheville.